Hi, I'm Jim at RC4, and now we are demonstrating high-powered, untethered wireless dimming. So this is where we have a set piece, usually in theater. We have a lot of opera users who go with this kind of thing. Maybe it's on a turntable, might be a wagon, something that needs a lot of lighting, differentiation with channels, and it's halogen traditional lighting. So we want that warm traditional look, which means it draws a lot of power. So we have our DMX4 Dim 500, RC4 Magic Dimmer. This device will do 500 watts distributed over four channels. It's perfect for this application. Our newest model has no fan. There used to be a fan here. So now it is silent and quiet and will do a fine job of what we need in this production. So our electrician has wired the piece. He's put these handy Anderson connectors on all the circuits. So now we come in, connect the dimmer up, and we need quite a large battery to generate the light and the heat that comes off of MR16s. So this is a beefy lead acid storage battery. It's probably smaller than we will need to do this job. Um, you know, if we had a 15 or 20 minute scene, this is not enough battery. You could look at marine batteries. You could use these uh, multiple cells in parallel. There's a lot of ways you can solve that problem. So now we power it up and we need to assign DMX channels. So we do that with RC4 Magic, RC4 One Touch. So One Touch is all about setting any dimmer to any channel with a single push of one button. So I look at the lighting plot and I see it needs to be on channels 81 to 84. So I bring up channel 81 to 70%. Why did I pick 70%? We look at the chart in RC4 Magic. There are four different curves available for linear incandescent lighting. We want the linear curve, which is selected by putting our channel at 70%. We have only one channel up because that's how the dimmer differentiates what it needs to be assigned to. And with one channel on the console at 70% for linear, I go to the dimmer and I press the set button for the first channel. We now have assigned this number of MR16s in the set piece to this channel. I have linear dimming. And now we will go on to channel 82. I'm bringing it up to 70%. I go to the dimmer. I press the set button. Now I've done linear on that channel. I go to channel 83, set it to 70%. 70% for linear, incandescent lighting. And here's another channel. And now the very last channel, the fourth channel, 70%. Go to the last one. And there we have it. So let's go back and make sure that these have all done what they're supposed to do. There's channel 81, 82, 83, and 84. And that is 500 watts of light. This is the battery, this is the dimmer, these are the lights, and that's on a turntable going round and round, and there are no wires to this system. But it is absolutely instantaneously controlled like any other fixture in my show by DMX.